and Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you for this opportunity for learning and development to go on amidst this crisis that we are experiencing now. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity using this technology to be able to connect with each other, to learn and to continue to learn and relearn and unlearn, uh, to learn from each other. And we just invite your presence to be with us to make our technologies functional so that there will be no disruption as we go on with our activity. We give glory to you. We also lift up to you our resource speaker who will uh, equip us and uh, train us on how to prepare ourselves in the coming months that we are facing. All this we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so back to the session. Uh, if you have... Uh, read or if you have glanced our memorandum for today uh we have a preliminary activity before we invite our speaker to speak to us we have identified two from among the volunteers to share the experiences since the day one of the volunteer activity uh so uh, we have uh, tapped our uh, senior education program specialists under the PNR section to facilitate the sharing of stories. This was, I think there are two teachers identified by Sir Jimmy to share their experiences today. So I'll give you the floor po to Dr. Ma'am Reynalyn Patsoyan, please to facilitate the sharing of stories. Okay. Take it away, Ma'am Malin. Thank you, Ma'am Jobs. Blessed day, everyone. Pagpupugay po sa lahat ng ating volunteers for the Social Amelioration Program. I am Reina Linpadsoyan po, your facilitator for this day um, to share the stories. Um, ready na bang ating dalawang mga, mga magigiting na teachers? Yan. Unahin natin si Ma'am Freudeline Docalias from Bakaking National High School po. Saan po si Ma'am Ma Ma Freud? And then sunod si Ma'am Evangeline Kabuatan of Joaquin Smith National High School. Ma'am Froy? Ma'am Froy? Good morning po. Hello. Hello, Ate. Hello, Ma'am Froy. Naririnig po ba ako? Yes, yes. Here, Ate. Go ahead. So, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, so... Uh, ako nga po si Froy from Pakaking National High School pero dito po ako sa San Vicente Barangay uh, na yeah, nakatira. So nung nalaman ko po yung tungkol sa volunteer work, uh, hindi po ako nagdalawang isip. Actually first time ko po na ano na pumunta sa Barangay Hall dito sa Barangay namin. <laughs> Nakakaya mga aminin. Two years pa lang kami kasi kami dito sa San Vicente. Ayan, so Dahil po dito sa pagbo-volunteer, first time ko rin pong ma-meet yung, ba yung barangay captain. First time ko pong umikot-ikot din sa barangay para mag-conduct ng home visitation, mag-house to house para hanapin kung sino yung mga mga qualified po para dito sa SAP. So actually marami po akong realization, hindi ko akalain na ganun pala kalaki yung barangay namin. And sa pag interview po, ay narealize ko na hindi pala madaling trabaho rin po yun kasi kailangan you exercise din the skills eh. There is, uh, ano to gagamitin din natin yung ating art of questioning to make sure na uh, tama yung information na nakukuha natin. So, ang natutunan ko po sa pag-conduct ng interview, kailangan, kailangan talaga matalino kasi... Uh, may mga may mga kabarangay po tayo o may mga tao na minsan nagsisinungaling at meron din naman po yung iba na nahihiya rin pala. For example, uh, pwede po bang mag-share ng, ng story kaya hindi po ako mag-mention ng names? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Ayan po. Malangin. Ayan, so, uh, yes, ma'am. For example po, uh, meron po itong household na binisit namin Uh, tinanong ko kung sino yung kasama, sino sino yung mga kasama niya sa bahay. Hindi niya sinasabi yung totoo. Yun pala meron siyang bedridden na wife and uh, yung yung kagawad yung nagsabi sa akin na actually may ano yan, may asawa yan na 
dating OFW pero na stroke pero tingnan mo ayaw niyang aminin na na nandiyan lang yung asawa niya. So may mga kung may mga tao man po na nagsisinungaling para ma-qualify sila sa SAP, meron din po yung mga tao na nakihiya sa kanilang sitwasyon. So kailangan din po pala na we really dig deeper. So importante po na sa pag-house to house talaga kasama rin po natin yung mga barangay officials. Yun po. And then yung pag-explain po sa mga qualifications for SAP, actually, yun din po yung isa sa mahirap gawin kasi marami talagang gusto eh na minsan yung sasabihin nila na akala ko ba sinabi ni Duterte ganito? Bakit uh, kayo sinasabi nyo ganito? <laughs> yung ganun po ba? So, kailangan talaga po talaga mahinahon, ma-explain sa mga tao kung bakit sila qualified at uh, bakit po hindi. Ayun. And sa pagiging volunteer po, uh, honestly, meron din po yung mga dilema like uh, may mga may mga tao po na nire-recommend ng mga barangay officials tapos pag dumating sa amin upon interview, eh we, we immediately see na hindi po sila qualified. So paano ba i-explain yon? Kasi sasabihin nila, eh pinapunta ako ni Kagawad, so sasabihin mo, hindi ako qualified. Yung mga ganun pong, uh, ganun pong issues. So, opo. So, ta- yung role talaga natin ng mga teachers, uh, dito po sa volunteer work na ito, nakita ko po talaga yung significance namin. Kasi, kumbaga, um, kumbaga tayo po sa department, yung neutral, ano eh, yung neutral party, parang ganun. So, Uh, we need to show them or we need to be transparent para uh, maintindihan po ng ating mga kabarangay uh, yung programa. Ayun po. So, uh, na-experience ko po talaga mga layong kamay kasi ang daming kailangan isulat tapos ang liliit nung spaces sa form and nag-overtime. Ayan. Pero nag-enjoy po talaga kaming lahat. And overall, ang realization ko po sa programang ito ng gobyerno at sa pag-volunteer namin ay uh, minsan pala kahit gaano po kaganda yung programa ng gobyerno, kung hindi po tayo magtutulungan lahat, uh, hindi po siya 100% na magsasaksid. Kailangan po talaga nandun yung honesty, kailangan din po talaga nandun yung commitment. So nagpapasalamat po ako na naging part po ako ng, ng pag-volunteer sa barangay and kung meron man pong chance ulit na mag-volunteer para sa barangay, hindi po ako magdadalawang isip. Maraming salamat po. Wow, thank you so much, Ma'am Joy. Very touching yung story, Ma'am Joy. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you po. Thank you, thank you, Ma'am Joy. Uh, so, let's let's move on. Uh, pakinggan din natin si Ma'am Evangeline Kabuatan ng Joaquin National High School. Joaquin Smith National High School, Ma'am. Andiyan na po ba kayo? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah. Go ahead po. Hello po. Yeah. Actually, ma'am, uh, dito kami sa Barangay Fairview. Ah. Um, 10 years, uh, o oh, tama, 10 years na kami dito sa Barangay Fairview. It's, it's one of the biggest barangay actually here in Baguio City. Kaya, hindi pa actually tapos ang pag-iikot namin. Talaga? Meron pa kaming mga nila. Meron pa kaming mga natirang purok, ma'am, kasi hanggang Feb, ay hanggang sa 25 yung last payout. So, uh, nag-leave lang kami for around 2 hours. Babalik kami sa Barangay Hall after nito. Kasi kailangan pa nila kami doon. Pero anyway, yung um, experience as a volunteer teacher, natanggap, namin, natanggap ko yung call ng Good Friday. Tapos, Uh, Holy Saturday, nag-report kami. So, Easter Sunday, umiikot na kami sa bundok ng Fairview. May, medyo mahirap kasi pataas pa baba. Tapos, maraming mga love stories. Na, <laughs> Talaga. Na, ano, na over. Oo. Maraming, maraming, um, sa, sa paglalakad namin, maraming hindi napapansin ng mga gobyerno na mga bagay-bagay sa komunidad na akala natin okay tayong lahat pero kung iisipin mo at the end of the day napakaswerte natin dahil meron tayong magandang bahay meron tayong trabaho meron tayong kinakain araw-araw yung ganon kasi akala mo 
mahirap ka na. Pero talaga palang meron pang mas mahirap. Yung papasukin mo yung bahay nila na kwarto lang, kama. Tapos paglabas, apat na anak. Napakahirap nun. Tapos magmamakaawa sila. Tapos ang mga asawa, construction worker or na lockdown or nagbabasura. Yung mga ganun na mga kwento, nakakaantig talaga sa puso. Na gustong-gusto mo silang i-qualify pero may mga qualifications na kung magka-qualify sila. Mm-hmm. Tapos tama nga yung sabi ni Ma'am Froy na talagang honesty is the best policy. Kasi nga meron yung mga iba naman na almost lahat ng mga household naman na dito sa amin eh, naghiwalay na sila. Kaya, ang hirap i-validate kung talaga bang naghiwalay silang mag-asawa o nandun sa kabilang bahay or ilan ba talaga ang anak nila. Lalo na sa mga beneficiaries kasi nauulit-ulit. Pero nga, yung validation talaga at saka yung hirap pero okay lang kahit na mahirap, masarap. Kasi nagsuserve ka sa mga tao na Mm, wala kang hinihinging kapalit. Yun lang. Tapos, ang realization ko siguro dito sa sa, sa pagsuserve namin as volunteer teachers is we are still, or we are really, really very blessed. Kasi um, sa mga, uh, sa community itself, maraming, marami pa rin talagang naghihirap at kahit na gusto mo nga silang tulungan, eh wala kang magagawa at yun lang ang pwede mong gawin mag outreach na mag mag-reach out na lang sa kanila na 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 sana yung maibibigay ng gobyerno eh makatulong sa kanila yun lang po ma'am ay wow thank you so much ma'am Evangeline uh, may konti lang po akong katanungan kung saan naman po kayo ngayon ma'am Froy andiyan ka pa ba ma'am yes, Evangeline at ang tatakin po ng ng mga kasama natin na na, na volunteers kaway-kaway po tayo diyan. Kumusta po kayong lahat? After po ng ng mga kwento na for sure marami pa kaming gustong sanang marinig pero dahil po lang tayo sa oras kaya dalawa lang yung napakinggan natin pero maraming marami tayong way para magkakwentuhan ulit. Yeah, so yeah. this time gusto kasi ang si si Proy at saka si Ma'am Evangeline ang kausap natin on behalf of the the other volunteers. Ano yung totally ano yung pakiramdam na na naulanan kayo na, kahit for sure nagutom kayo and and everything no na, nakahulan kayo ng aso, yung mga ganyan. Ano yung eventually ano yung pakiramdam pagkatapos ng isang araw na nag-serve po kayo? Uh, sino pong mauuna, Ma'am? <laughs> Go ahead, Proy. Ikaw na, ikaw na. Sige. Um, honestly po sa akin, hindi ko po naramdaman nga yung gutom pala. May ganun pala na feeling kahit na sabihin nila na, oh, kain na. Parang hindi, hindi nga po maramdaman yung gutom pag lalo na pag ganun po na marami yung tao. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, honestly po, ako kasi yung medyo mababaw ang luha. Kaya, <laughs> kaya pag meron na akong kausap na client na magsishare na siya ng story niya na medyo may iyak na siya, Minsan hindi ko alam ang gagawin kaya hindi ano ayoko namang uh, umiyak din kasama sila ganun so pag nakikwento na sila um makikinig lang ako and then yun nga hindi ko yun yun yun, yun po talaga yung mahirap na part so ang ginawa ko na lang is to comfort and then to to at least um ano to, hindi naman, assurance kasi hindi naman po tayo yung magdi-decide kung sila talaga yung papasok. Eh, kasi actually kahit na, na napirmahan po yung form, DSWD pa rin po ang magdi-decide kung qualified sila o hindi. So what I just tell them is, so tay or nay, uh, ito po yung form na pirmahan na po natin. Let us pray na uh, pumasok po ito and then uh, make sure po na open yung linya nyo para pag natanggap po kayo ay, at tatawagan po kayo, available po kayo. And then, iba rin po pala yung pakiramdam na makita mo na yung client mo na inassess mo, tatanggap na. Ayun po. Kasi pag nandun kami, ayan, nakaschedule na silang tatanggap. Yung nakita mo na, uy, andun na siya. Ay, ako ang nag-assess nan, deserving naman talaga siyang makareceive niyan. Thank you, Lord. Yung ganun po. Masarap po yung, yes po, masarap po yung pakiramdam. Kahit hindi sa akin ang galing po yung pera na bigay ng gobyerno. Pero masarap po yung pakiramdam na naging part ka doon sa proseso kung saan na ipaabot ng gobyerno yung tulong para po sa kanila. How oh, nice naman. That's really empathy. At least nararamdaman natin kung ano yung sitwasyon nila. 
Masarap yes, sa pagkakas. Alright. Thank you so much, Froy. Let's go to Ma'am Ma 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 Evangeline. Ma'am. Hi, Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, ganun din. Parang hindi mo naram, hindi ko rin naramdaman yung pagod ko dun sa first day. Kasi kung, kung makikita nyo kung gaano kataas ang bundok dito sa Fairview, pababa, pa, pataas yung mga eskinita dito, talagang sabi nga nila, siguro mga naglus na ako ng mga one calorie. <laughs> Mga <laughs> kakayat pa ba ba? Pero yun na, uh, hindi mo nararamdaman talaga yung agot ko after. At, at the end of the day, yun na lang yung, yung butong itsin. Ay tapos yun, hindi namin naikwento, hindi, hindi ko pa naikwento na meron pala kami isang recipient na before niya makuha yung uh, payout niya, na-stroke siya the other day. O tama, na-stroke siya the other day. Kinair na yata ni Sir Ryan Gayaga yung, ano, yung story ng matanda sa Deaf and Volunteers. Oo nga, mukhang nabasa ko yun. Oh, sige, so, ma'am, kwento natin yan para marinig ng lahat. Sige. Yun yung nakakalungkot kasi actually kami nung sister-in-law ko yung nag-interview nag doon sa matanda. Isa siyang mambabalot. In the morning, nag, nag, nag ng pa, mga payong. Tapos in the evening, yun, nagbabalot siya. Tapos siguro dahil sa kulang pa rin talaga yung ayuda ng government. Merong mga mabubuting mga tao talaga dito pa rin naman sa amin na nagbibigay ng relief. Tapos nagbigay siya ng relief ng Sunday, nakipila siya ng relief na baka. Yung baka one per kilo. Yeah. One, one person per kilo. Yun. So nagbigay sila ng, ng baka. Tapos siguro yun yung ulam nila nung gabi. The following day, or tama, the following day, she, she died in her sleep. Tapos yesterday na cremate siya. Pero nung sinasabi namin sa DSWD kung makakwalify yung isang recipe, yung isang beneficiary niya, sabi nila um, sa ano na lang daw sa burial assistance kasi medyo mas malaki yung makukuha nila. So hopefully makakuha yung family ng burial assistance para sa mother kasi cremate na din yung mother uh, yesterday. Yun, yun yung nakakalungkot ng mga stories. Pero yung, yung mararamdaman mo na at least tama nga yung sabi ni Ma'am Freud, na every time magpipay out sila or every time na nandun sila na makukuha nila yung tulong ng government tas nandun ka na nakikita mo walang walang uh, there is no um, ano to there is no uh, enough joy na na makikita mo na binibigyan na nakukuha nila yun at makakatulong para sa kanila yun within the um, quarantine period na na binigay ng government yun ma'am Lamang dama namin ma'am ang inyong mga mga puso sa pag-serve no hindi namin mapantayan yung yung tuwa na nakikita rin namin kayo yung sa yung nakita namin lahat ng post niyo ganyan at sa kwento niyo ngayon na validate namin ma'am na maraming maraming pagkakataon para maging hero at kayo yon kayo po yung nagpatunay doon at nararamdaman namin yung yung heart ninyo na nag-serve at sa lahat ng yon nagpupugay po kami sa inyo. Sa lahat po nang hindi pa nag-share, pwede po tayong gumawa later ng isa pang uh, platform maybe or a series per another series na magkwentuhan lang tayo. Pwede rin po yon Okay lang po ba yon So yes, meantime, po. dahil kulang po tayo ng oras, ibabalik na. Unless may gusto pa kayong sabihin po, Ma'am Troy, Ma'am Vangeline? Wala na po, Ma'am. Okay na. Sige. So, thank you so much at uh, yes, uh, sa lahat ng volunteers, marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Ma'am Jobs, babalik ko na po sa inyo. Okay, thank you Ma'am Malin and thank you for uh, facilitating the sharing of our two teachers today. And there are hundreds of them but we can only accommodate two. Mag, uh, gaya ng sabi ni Ma'am Malin, we'll try to design a way or devise a way for all the teachers to be able to share. Uh, in the meantime, uh, may we welcome our ASDS, Ma'am Soraya, for a few words before we formally open the KESS today. Ma'am Sor, Ma'am Soraya po, our Assistant School Division Superintendent and also our uh, lead in this uh, KESS. Ma'am Sor. Ma'am Soraya, makamute ata, Sir Harris. Ma'am, wala pa si Ma'am Sur dito sa... Wala pa siya? Wala pa, Ma'am. Ay, 
kung wala pa, we will uh, we will have her na lang sa closing later on. Uh, kasi dalawang, dalawang ano ang kanyang ina-attend na ngayon. Yung si Maya at saka itong KSS. Okay, so again, uh, we thank you for uh, your interest and uh, your logging in today, meaning uh, you are hungry for uh, information, for uh, further enlightenment of what we are going through today. So, as you can see, resiliency is the key word for today because of this economic turmoil that we are experiencing. We have a lot of adjustment to do, di po ba? Adjustment in our prioritization, adjustment in our uh, attitude, adjustment in our mindset. So, uh, since the implementation of the ECQ, we have transcended or parang yung transition natin from our busy life, our busy work to staying home. There, these are a lot of things that we need to adjust and there are so many things that we need to also consider now that the ECQ is being implemented. So to talk about how to build our inner resilience, as I said, resiliency is the key word today. We have invited a, an able uh, uh, speaker who have been also our partners in our previous uh, learning and development programs. He used to be the a professor in the three big universities in Baguio, like UB, UC, St. Louis University. Now he opted to be a freelancer, to be able to reach out to other regions, not limited only to Baguio. So he is a freelancer, freelance motivational speaker, not only in the city, but in other provinces, even in Mindanao and Visayas. So our co-teachers, fellow teachers, May we invite in the session Dr. Dem Mina Mamaat Jr. <laughs> Sir Dem, kayo na po. Hi. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Good morning po. Ayan. Good morning, ma'am. Hello. Good morning po. Ayan, sige. Ayan. Para tayong kuan, no? Para tayong nag-spirit nag of the glass. Wala pa siya dito. Are you, are you there? Mga ganyan. Bagong bago ito, mga ganitong mga uh, uh, technology. And uh, it's good that I was able to listen to to the stories of uh, shared by Ma'am G and Ma'am Froy. No? Kasi talagang um, it's heart moving. It's, it's really, really nakakaantig ng puso yung mga ganong mga kwento. No? So at this point, let me just yeah. So uh, when Mom Jobs asked me to to uh, give a talk, sabi ko oh, talaga ang 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 Mom Jobs talagang very aggressive <laughs> sa mga ganitong mga bagay-bagay, no? And uh, yes. indeed, we really need these types of uh, of uh, talks, kahit na ganito ang nangyayari sa environment natin. In fact, sure. parang 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 two months akong naburo. Sabi ko, parang, kaya, kaya ko pa ba mag-talk? Kasi parang, it's like, been like, ang ginagaw ko dito, gumagali ako maging cook. Ang galing ko na maghugas ng pinggan. <laughs> and, and I'm suspecting yung mga, kwan ngayon, yung mga naka-off ang kanila. Kasi I have my tablet with me. So I'm, I'm trying to, tinitingnan ko din kung sino yung manandito. Yan. So I can see so many familiar faces. Yan. Yung iba naka-off ang kanilang camera, siguro hindi pa naligo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's it's a little bit difficult for me to, to no, challenge is the word. Kasi nga, uh, compared sa live na talk, I can get immediate, uh, immediate na reactions. Dito, ang basis ko lang dito, ginaganyan ko. I'm looking at you uh, sporadically as I'm giving a talk. No? So, ayan. And it's nice that, uh, alam niyo maganda dito, even if, for example, what we're going through, right, it's difficult. Right? Nakakangiti pa rin tayo, yung sharing ni Ma'am Froy at ni Ma'am Froy ba yun? Fro? At Ma'am Froy. Froy at si Ma'am Deb. Deb ba yun kanina? Ma'am Debbie. Uh, breaks your heart din sometimes. Kita niyo mga ganun, lalo yung, yung uh, nagbebenta ng balot. 
I don't know if I got it right. Ah, kung, na namatay siya after she ate a good meal. Parang ganun ba yun? So nakakalungkot, di ba? Parang last meal, parang parang what a, what a big joke. No, but anyway, so uh, uh, what we're going to do this morning is, of course, um, topic ko dito is uh, resilience. Yan. Siyempre, some of you don't know what's resilience yet. Buti na lang meron akong, kwan, meron akong uh, LCD na maliit. O, di ba? Kahit pa paano, may, I can use. But of course, I'll still share it on the, on dito sa ating screen. No? Dito sa, kwan. so let's start already. No? Uh, can you hear correctly? Paki thumbs up ko kung you can hear me. Okay ba? May lag ba? Lag ba? Thumbs okay lang up naman po kayo. Po. kayo. Okay. Thumbs up po if Thumbs one. Po I'm if just one. trying to check if you can hear me correctly. Thumbs up po kayo. Okay. Ma'am Renaline says okay. Uh, live na nag-thumbs up si Ma'am Balaw. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, in the event that, uh, yan, may mga nag okay then Very good. Very good. Okay. So, let's start na, no? So, um, okay. Audio is okay. Very good. So, at this point, let me just uh, start off with a story, no? Kasi when Ma'am Job said, ano kayo magandang topic, sir? Off, off my mind talaga, sabi ko, it's going to be very important. We talk about uh, resilience, no? Sabi ko sa kanya. So, at that point, let me just start off with a story, no? So, um, technically speaking, uh, very important when you talk about resilience is this one. Uh, let me just uh, share you the screen. Can you see the... Can you see? In, ayan, oh, opo. Okay, so, all right. So let me just uh, start off with the story of uh, resilience, no? So, at this point, this point, hold on. I'm just looking for my slide here. This is the screen. Okay. All right. So, so at this point, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Greek mythology, yeah? Pero sabi dito, there was once two brothers named Prometheus and Epimetheus, no? So, dalawang to, they're brothers, brothers. No? they're Greek, Greek god sila. And one time, no, sabi ni Prometheus, yung isa, yung kapatid niya, he stole uh, fire, fire no? from Mount Olympus and gave it to mankind. Kasi ang fire noon, ang gumagamit lang niyan is mga, mga kwan, mga god. Itong Prometheus na to, he got fire from Mount Olympus at binigay niya sa tao. Siyempre si Zeus, yung the king of the gods, no? uh, he got angry. Nagalit siya. No? Siyempre, gamit yeah. ngayon ko. Fire is only for, fire is for the god. For the god. Mm -hmm. so, so, ngayon, para so, makaganti, si para Zeus, makaganti, sabi niya kay Hephaestus, you create a woman out of clay. Gawa ka ng babae out of clay. Then, he named this woman, Pandora. I think you know na kung sino si Pandora, di ba? Si Pandora, inasawa niya si Mithius, yung nagnakaw ng fire. And at that point, they gave her a wedding gift. They gave, uh, Zeus gave din a, a wedding gift, no? which is a box. Siyempre, si, si, no? si Pandora. The proverbial Pandora's box, naalala niya yun. Sabi niya, oh, bakit ito? Nakikita ko itong box na ito, but I'm not allowed to open it. Ayan. So at that point, if I were to um, ask you to recall no, the story, if I were to ask you to recall the story, kita nyo, ano kayang gagawin ni Pandora? Diba? So what Pandora did was, Inopen niya yung box. Inopen niya yung box. And then she opened the box. That's the time that all the spirits, ayan, yung mga spirits and all those mga, mga old age and diseases and lahat-lahat came out of the box. Ayan. 
So yan na, yung paghihirap ng mundo. That's what was the, the Greek explanation of the hardship sa mundo. Now, at this now, point, at this point, yun, every yun, evil every... now came out of the box. And if you're familiar with the story, lahat naka-escape, no? diseases, misery, and everything went out of the box. However, may natira no? sa box. And that was hope. No? This was hope. Ayan, si hope natira sa box. And that's something that I want to start off because uh, yung punishment ni Zeus can be seen, maybe, no? right now, yung nangyayari sa atin. Though it should not be seen as a punishment. Ang nakikita natin right now is when you see people like uh, nakihirap, yung nakita ni Ma'am G at ni Ma'am Nog na uh, the wife was, uh, uh, I think the wife or the husband is an OFW and has stroke. It's very easy for him to use the person, the spouse to qualify, pero she chose not to. No? Or yung nagbibenta ng balot. Pansin mo yun, ha? Mag, how much do they earn? Yung mag, mag-aayos ng payong. How often do you, do you, do you, do you break your payong? And, diba? Tapos magkano ba ang, ang balot? Diba? Magkano ba ang income? And those things, at one point, no, I think those people who work very hard or those people who, have, people who are sick in their family have one thing that keeps them going, which is hope. No? And lahat tayo, we're sticking to that, yung hope natin na everything will just go back to normal. Although you can listen to so many stories and so many people who na hindi, hindi na babalik sa normal. If it, if it will maraming magbabago. Di ba? Naririnig ba? At this point, um, hope, no? Can you see the screen? Hope, sabi dyan, is, is actually, let me just share that to you. Hope is very important no? because it is, okay, hope. It's a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen, for a certain thing to happen. I think lahat tayo sa ngayon, all over the world, no? very, very, very um, interesting to note. All over the world, we are all hoping that eventually everything will go back to its normal uh, position, normal flow. Pero again, things change. No? Kaya nga at this point, uh, let's be very realistic about it. No? Kaya nga, when you talk about survival stories, it's very close to resilience. Later, I'll explain what is resilience. No? Yung survival stories na alam natin, maraming mga tao na nagsasurvive no? in spite of what, hap- what happens to them. Yung, again, yung story na sinabi kanina nila ma'am, ma'am, De- Deb, uh, ma'am Debbie, Debbie ba yun, tsaka si ma'am Croy, very, very interesting and very, very uh, empowering in a way. Meron tayong mga kwento about yung uh, it's a film. No? They made it into a film. Yung mga tao na mga athletes, they were stranded in a mountain. No? Tapos, akala na marerescue na sila, pero hindi. So, they ate all their their supplies. And what happened was, hindi sila na-rescue for how many months? No? And what happened, uh, one month at a, close to one month or two months. And if you watch the film, kasi true story to, itong film na to, Alive, ang title nun, Alive. No? I think it's available in YouTube. No? Uh, ano to? We have a neighbor who's qualified for us. May nag-message na. Mamaya na yan. So, at that point, uh, it is going to be uh, to survive. Some of them, kumain na ng tao. No? Yung na mga namatay sa plane crash, kasi nag-plane crash na sila. They had to eat the uh, the bodies of the people no who who got trapped as well no nung nat nag plane crash sila sila yung they had to yan ito yung kanilang uh, picture no their plane crash dun sa sa may border no sa Himalayan no very very heavy snow jan and they were there for 72 days some of them to survive they had to, they had to eat um mga kwan, mga katawan ng namatay. No? How many of you would be able to do that? No? Then here's another. No? Si, this one is uh, 
ito film ginawang film din true to life din na film ito no the 127 days kung napanood niyo yun he was a hiker no hiker siya tapos he was able to uh, hike so many mountains then one time when he was hiking no what happened ang nahulog siya sa isang parang parang ravine or parang space sa, sa rocks e na trap siya doon hindi siya makaalis and yung, his hand was trapped no he was na, na, na trap yung kanyang kamay and he was there and the only for way for him to survive kasi wala nang dumadaan doon no it's a rocky mountain he had to cut off his hand. So kung titignan niyo yung kamay nito, tinutol niya, he had to really cut off his hand para maka-free doon sa kanyang kinalalagyan. That's that's the that's um, the story of this person, no? Si Aaron Halston. And if you want to watch the film again, it's 127 hours at ayon, no? So that's the film. And of course, alam natin to, we all have this, no? This experience noon sa atin, yung July 16 earthquake. Remember that time when we we were having this uh, very great catastrophe dito sa Baguio, no? We have stories of survival as well na kung saan, I remember I was high school then. walang, it's difficult to go around uh, Baguio kasi nga walang daanan, walang sasakyan, no? In that time, walang internet. Eh. So you just have to be, you have to content yourself with your regular TV. Walang, walang cable pa noon and everything. No? So that's going to be how it works. No? So this is going to be survival stories that we've had. And of course, uh, survival. No? So kanina, hope. Yung, uh, we're trying to be optimistic about it. So hope and survival, no? this one, no? is resilience. That's the thing. So to explain it further, hope plus survival equals resilience. Yan. So if you try to, kung tinanong ka, ano pang resilience? Ito yung parang, kahit mahirap yung nangyayari, you want to survive and you want to continue surviving. And there's the hope that things will get better. And that's resilience. And if we try to look at it, the picture sa likod is a phoenix. You know, it's a representative of a very mythical bird. The mythical bird na uh, it was burned into ashes siya, pero nabuhay siya eventually. You know? it, he rose from the ashes. So ganun yung, yung kinalalagyan natin yan. Right now, we're still, sabi ng mga news, we're not yet having the peak of the cases of the COVID. Pero, uh, we're hoping against hope, we're trying to survive every day. Tayo nga, ang dami natin mga angal na ang tagal-tagal matapos tung tung ECQ na to, etc., etc. But if you try to think about it, no, um, ang dalikad kang ginagawa natin, yung mga most of us dito sa, we just stay at home, di ba? Na, nakahiga lang tayo. Sometimes we just have to eat and afterwards tulog ulit or manood ulit ng TV. It's very easy. No? Tapos ano okay. nga hamo nga mangagak na ka? Ah? Hamo mangag talaga? <laughs> Ay, hindi ako naririnig. Oo, oh, nadamot. Mas dito lang dito. Ay, abnormal girl. Eh, tam. Kaya may salang kaya ka. Kaya, tak lang. Tak lang timangag yun. <laughs> For now. Yeah, there's one who said permission to screenshot. Yes, you can screenshot. And also, I'll send the, the photos to Ma'am Je. No? Ah, Rachel Samonte. Sudyante ko ata yun. Ayan. <clears throat> okay. So, at this point, uh, resilience, oh, medyo be clear dun sa LCD. Let me just uh, share the photo to you. Uh, resilience, therefore, no, is this. No? Resilience is it's a noun, no, and the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties or toughness. Yan kilala ang Pilipino jan sa pagiging tough natin. That every time that we're going to uh, have difficulties, bounce back that tayo. But I was thinking, you know, sabi ko kagabi, I was thinking, sabi ko, um, it's very difficult to, um, it's very difficult to 
really uh, think about these conditions. Kasi noon, pag bumagyo, after a week, okay na eh. Okay na. Ito, we don't even know when it's gonna end. Some say it's going to be until July, some until January of next year. But again, let's go back to hope. Uh, hope is something that keeps us going. If, if you try to think about it, nakaka-depress yung mga stories. Nakaka, nakaka, parang you will think some people na doktor sila, mag-asawa, and they, they did not make it. No? So at that point, these are very, very sad times that you witness. No? There are some people who you witness na ilang araw nang walang makain. Those people who are stranded away from their families. So many stories. No? But again, the purpose of this uh, talk is to really give you a bird's eye view of what it is to really come up with what you call as your resilience. No? Kaya nga, let us now start with resilience. For now, um, I'll be off the screen. I'll just be presenting to you the slides. No? So at this point, I will just uh, send to you the slides, or the first five slides. No? So here. Uh, it would be good for you to message if, for example, uh, you want me to go back. No, Kasi nakikita ko sa screen ko dito kung uh, there's, uh, kung meron kayong poor audio or whatever. Just simply, and I can see it. No? So, because uh, I, I can only listen to myself, parang wala akong masyadong uh, nakikita. Okay? So, at this point, uh, kung titin natin life is so full of dichotomies. Anong dichotomies? Parang it's duality. Dua. Uh, you have here on this uh, this side, uh, uh, if you try to think about it, uh, I'll just use my pen. No? On this side, no? that's the yin and the yang. Tawism. No? Yin and the yang. Tapos dito naman, if you can see that slide, it's yung picture sa cinema. No? Drama and comedy. Drama and the uh, uh, sadness. No? Then you also have here the poor and the rich. Yan, yung mga mahirap at saka yung mga mayayaman. Uh, nakakatawa nga kasi talagang matatapos na itong ECQ. Wala pa kaming kwan. Wala pa kaming uh, ano yun, yung relief. But I was thinking, sabi ko, I think I don't need the relief as much as other people. Uh, sabi ni Ma'am Wilma, I can't hear the speaker. Uh, I don't know. Sir, Ma'am Jobs, hindi daw ko naririn. Sir Harris, okay. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. At least nandiyan si Ma'am Jobs. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, and of course, you have here um, sick and healthy. Ayan. So, if you take a, uh, take a look at that, no, dalawa-dalawa, no? So, it's always sick, healthy, rich, poor, etc. And that's, that's how life is. So, at this point, if you Try to talk about it, no? You just go to the next slide. Okay. Now, if you go to the next slide, nako, sandali. Nawala na. I'll just stop share muna. Kasi medyo... Okay. Pasensya na kayo. Medyo first time ko rin maganito. Okay. So... So when you talk about pati yung ating duality of labas at loob sa Filipino concept, no? labas at loob, it's also actually a, uh, a very, very important concept to talk about. No? Uh, your concept of loob. So if you try to look at your screens, no? uh, positive polarity, no? pag sinabi mong lakas ng loob, self-confidence. No, I think yung mga ginagawa ninyo when you go to the to the different places, you climb the mountains up and down, may eskinita mga ganun. You need lakas ng loob, no? And what you see sometimes like those small room with four people in there. I mean, you can just help but count your blessings, no? Kaya sometimes dalawang pwedeng mangyari sa iyo. Tumalakas ang loob mo, you become more grateful. Or masisiraan ka ng loob on this side. No? Masisiraan ka ng loob. Kaya nga, if you say nasiraan ng loob, these are people who 
may have not uh, uh, they were not cope they were not able to cope in the situation no some of them nasisiraan ng ulo some of them they gave up on everything and so on then you also have your kusang loob over there over here kusang loob initiative uh natutuwa ako because a lot of stories like uh, fashion designers, may mga taong ma- ma- mabilis tumulong, mga NGOs. No? Sabi ko nga, eh, ang swerte ng gobyerno natin kasi we have so many people who are able to dole out from their own pocket. They can really be very helpful in these times of crisis. Although meron din kwan din eh, uh, on this negative poll. Sometimes, kaya ganun ang mga gobyerno natin kasi a lot of people are willing to help na dapat trabaho ng gobyerno. But in, in a way, to look at it positively, at least may mga tao na may kusang loob na tumulong. And that's the nature of the Filipino spirit. We have their utang na loob. No? Last night, if you saw that woman, I can't remember where she is from, uh, kinakanta siyang Sweet Child of Mine sa GMA uh, 24 oras. And the woman, the old woman was dancing kasi discharged na siya and she's now very much okay. So kung, kung titinan mo, parang very, very nice yung feeling. Kasi nga, those after kinantahan siya, nagpasalamat siya sa mga doctor at nurse who helped her uh, go back to perfect health. Kaya utang na loob is there. Sama ng loob. Ayan na. Sama ng loob is actually Pakikita mo na yung mga complaints ng tao. I can I don't know if you see it on Manila. Sa Manila, yung mga mga tao doon na talagang, gosh, they really are magrarally pa sila in these times of crisis. And it's, you can see the duality. Dito sa, sa Baguio, very peaceful, walang masyadong rally-rally. Wala pa ako nakitang nag-rally nga dito sa Baguio. That's why it's a very low cases of the spread of the virus. Kasi nga, cooperative tayo. Ang project nila sa Manila is because very, very few ang nagsosocial distancing doon. Sooner or later, makabiglang mag sila. Hopefully not. No? And finally, have their honesty. Tapat ng loob. Last night, again, in the news, you can see people returning their social amelioration fund because sabi nila, may natanggap na sila. And they're very honest to return it. No? At meron din may mga dishonest, manuloob. So if you take a look at it, dalawa yan lagi. It's always the two, no? this point, if you call out uh, so many things, all right. So if you talk about uh, resilience and so many things, it's very important that you really have to really know what, what to do, when to do it, and so on. Kaya nga, let me now try to talk about how do you build your resilience? No? So at this point, no, uh, ano kaya yung kadalasan na nangyayari? Kasi natin yung loob. No? Again, duality. Kung merong loob, meron ding labas. So at this point, when I talk about your loob, it's the, the Ilocano term na. It's the Filipino term loob. ba? And sometimes we say, ala, nasakit na, kum na. Diba? Or, uh, sa mo. No? Those things are what we call for now. Right now, yung loob. Right now, diba? Mapansin mo, wala naman masyado nagtukakan ngayon. Nag-selfie-selfie. Dahil close ang mga salon. Close ang mga, mga uh, beauty parlor. Kaya talagang, di mo, pansin mo, walang nagsiselfie ngayon. That's ang tsatsaka natin lang. <laughs> so, there. Uh, then, after that, uh, if you notice, right now, kahit na ang dami mong pera sa banko, it doesn't matter kung anong meron ka sa bahay, sa pagkain, yun ang, yun ang pinakamaimportante. So, right now, I think this, this thing that's happened, it taught us what are the more important things. No? Hindi yung importante yung ating uh, bag na, na napakamahal, yung sapatos natin yung napakamahal. I think what's more important is what is happening inside. No? So, at this point, 
that loob that I'm talking about is the soul. I think yun yung nakakalimutan natin. No? Uh, yan, dumadami rin na nagti-TikTok. Tama, no? Tama yun. Nagti-TikTok. Which is also a fun, of, a fun way of doing things. Pero at this point, eh, if we talk about it, yung soul natin. No? It's one thing that we forgot. No? Uh, and one way to build resilience is we have to remember that before we are bodies, we are souls. Yun ang dapat nating tandaan. No? A lot of us are scared kung magka-COVID tayo and you see people, their stories are uh, after three days sila na confined, after four, four days, after one week, namatay sila. And you cannot help but yung matakot ka na you, baka mangyari sa akin yun, etc. No? But don't, re- don't forget that, hello, we are souls. And as souls, we are indestructible, we're eternal, we're forever. No? And therefore, these things that happen, no, mga illness and death, etc. Lahat tayo dadaan dyan, no. Siguro yung isa lang doon, yung magbabalot, yung natulog lang. Tapos, I think God has been good to her. Kasi kung kunyari, I, 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 please don't get me wrong, ha? what if kunyari nabuhay pa siya, tapos na-stroke siya, tapos na-hospital pa siya. You know, yung mas complicated pa yung nangyari sa buhay niya. Yeah, God knows what's best. That's very important to to know, no? Kaya nga, at this point, if you talk about the soul, how to build resilience is two things. Again, duality. May mga tao na may positive thoughts, no? That they just simply are like glowing, no? Makita mo how they are able to help, how they are able to be very strong amidst the the crisis, no? Uh, ito yung mga taong mag- mag- ma-inspire ka. No? I think right now, this morning, I'm very thankful na rinig ko yung story ni Ma'am G at ni Ma'am Nor- no- Nori. Uh, si Ma'am, I forgot her name kanina. Nag-share yung dalawa. Si Ma'am uh, Froy. Froy po. No? Si Ma'am Froy, yeah. I, I I am thankful to have listened to your stories because you inspire. Nakaka-inspire yung mga ginagawa ninyo. Uh, there's, hindi naman, hindi naman talaga that you change the world with your action, those actions. But hearing that made me become more thankful because there are people like you. No? Uh, iba naman. They have, there are some people who we can be very, very much on this side. No? In negative thoughts nila. Very strong. No? Uh, taas kamay sino yung mga para naging kwan na obsessive compulsive awan labasit hugas awan labasit hugas hugas ng hugas ng kamay di ba parang nangyayari na sa atin yun may mahawakan ka lang you have to wash your hands na di ba kaya sometimes your negative thoughts can also be good pero pag, if it's too much can also be very difficult no so Yun yung aking gustong i-focus, no? You have two thoughts. Your um your one is your positive thoughts and negative thoughts. Now, how does it translate to resilience, no? The moment that you think negative thoughts, boom, dumagsin na si Vietnam, no? Kaya nga you only have to watch news, get the facts when you need to. Huwag mong i- every time na i-browse lahat, basahin lahat, because it will just drive you crazy. So, ang importante dyan is be selective with the uh, the news that you're reading, the the news programs that you're watching, yung mga importante details lang. Because eventually, if you get really very, very much, uh, parang nataranta ka na, you cannot think very well. So, what am I saying therefore? No? What am I saying therefore? What we what we let into our mind shapes the the state of our soul. So anyati anyati um umunag ij panunot tayo, no? Di ay mati um more or less na mangyari, no? 
So you have to be very careful because the moment that you are very, very much, um, how do you say it, masyado kang, uh, you tend to become very frantic, agdandanag ka, adalang agulot basit, ala, dati COVID na. Ayun kasi yung mga banan. It, it's very, very, very important no, uh, to really guard your thoughts. No? Okay. Yung sinasabing hindi ako natatakot. Of course, natatakot din ako uh, when one of uh, my mother lives in Scout Barrio. That's where our, our house is. Na, ibang place ako. When na-lockdown sila because of the street sweeper, kung nabalitaan niyo yun, I got worried. No? So, dali-dali, I went to the grocery store. I went to buy fruits for my mother. Tapos, before the lockdown doon, deliver ko na yung, yung kanyang uh, mga gatas, bread, fruits, etc. No, vitamins, etc. No? Uh, yes, that was the fear na magla-lockdown sila and wala silang access to food, etc. But the fear drove me into action. Yun. Yun ang maganda. Na may alarm system ka na, uy, kailangan kong gawin to. And that's the positive use of the fear. No? I think right now, maganda rin na may ganitong COVID because it teaches us to become more conscious of our health. No? Kasi tayo lahat, parang di tayo mamamatay, di ba? Kung makapag, makapagkain ng kung ano-ano, the more we, we eat anything that we like, we, we sleep late, etc. Not thinking that this will really affect our our constitution, our, our health. No? Kaya nga, here, what is a what is the characteristic of a weak soul? No, ano nga ba ang so again dichotomy tayo. No? We have the inner soul, outer is the body. Now, pati yung soul natin, meron din siyang duality. Soul can be weak, and soul can be powerful. So, what characterizes a very very powerful soul? A weak soul, muna. Doon tayo sa weak na soul. So here, what is a weak soul? Ano yung mga karakteristik ng weak soul? So let me just share two things. So first, a weak soul is a person having this always in his loob. No? Fear. Danag nga danag. Doubt. Agduda. No? Dwa. And worry. No? nag-worry tayo na katatno ay kastoy mo ito, awan mo ito kwarta ko, awan mo ito isweldo, awan mo ito kanunin, etc. Those are very human emotions. I am not saying that ako, wala akong mga gano'n, Diyos ko. For all you know, baka mas marami pa akong ganyan. But, I try to control it. no Yung fear, uh, let me just go back, let me just go to this slide. no Fear. So, kung titin niyo itong diagram na to you can uh, again i'll just send this this slides to ma'am Jovelin ha so if you try to go here no this one no do you have a problem in life no so yeah we have a problem in life so pag sinabi mong no puta ka dito puta ka dito then aping agdanag ka right now do you have a problem in life? Adati, kalam mo, yes. Adam maarwidam, awan. Apa yung danang ka? Huwag pa arwidam. Right? Oh, do you have a problem in life? Yes. Can you do something about it? Yes. Apa yung danang ka? So if you try to think about it, no? If you try to think about it, this diagram just tells you that eventually, whether you can do something about it or not, so worry is useless. You know? So why do you have to worry yourself? You know? And if you try to uh, go back to this uh, screen, you know, I've got fear, doubt, and worry. You now, When you say fear, it's something that's an alarm system. You know? And when is fear good? No. Ang panunot ka, natik maarwidam. That's how fear is. How fear can be good. Fear becomes negative if you have the fear. 
sa dagbutbutang ka, to sa wanti arwida mo, agbutbutang ka lang, hanggat maatake ka, matay ka. No? Doubt and worry, yan, mga kapatid, tatlong yan. You have to really be very careful with this, this three. No? So this is a very powerful thing to make yourself become very, very powerful during these times is you have to be very careful with what you are fearful, what you are doubtful, and what you worry about. Lahat tayo, kadalasan yun ang nang, nang, nangyayari. And did you notice when your, your thoughts are that way, you create the environment na ganun lahat negative thoughts. And what happens? Your thoughts manifest. Nga di isipon, di ti mangyari. Nga di dwa, nga ti fear more about yourself, your doubts about yourself, your worries about yourself, or about the future, di mo ti mangyari. So to build inner resilience is you have to check your thoughts. Di ti nga talo, no? your, your, your fear, no? let me just change the color, your fear, no? your doubt, and your worry. No? Very important, you really have to check yourself. No? When you say check yourself, you catch your, yourself. No, Allah, you say Allah, oh, oh. Be, be very careful. You try to say, okay, what can I do about it? No? That's an alarm system. The moment that you have that, that's your alarm system, okay? So, at this point, I want you to, kung, kung kwan na nga, I don't know if you can see this screen, kung meron kayong time at meron kayong, you can read this book, no? It's a book that I've read, very powerful siya. Uh, it's, it's a book by this uh, person, uh, I cannot find the slide, no? It's a very powerful book, because no, I can't find it anymore. Here, uh, it's dying to be me. I don't know if you can see it. No, dying to be me. It's a very powerful book. Uh, nagka cancer siya, na matay, tos na buhay. After twenty seven hours of being comatose, uh, tapos nag na pronounced dead siya. Tapos after ilang minutes or hours ata yon, she came back to life and she told her story no? and what was her story it was um, one ingredient for her because after na buhay siya na walang cancer niya after one week na walang cancer niya and she's now into remission and one thing that she shared is two things to make you become very very powerful love and happiness love and happiness sabi niya one you have to love what you're doing. You have to love yourself. You have to love what you're doing. You have to love what's happening. No? Baka yun, yung bagbaga na dito yung speaker na love everything, the good thing, COVID. Yeah, I mean, there's still a blessing sa nangyayari. Tama? At the budget time nga kwa, nga, was there ever a time that the entire world stopped and you can see bluer skies? I want ko kung narinig nyo, the birds are chirping more happily kung marinig nyo early in the morning. And that's a very good thing. And right now, kung napansin nyo, bumababa ang presyo ng gasolina. So, I mean, it's, it's something that we really have to thankful, be thankful for. I mean, tayo, complain nga, complain nga, anya, traffic man nga, one month, traffic, traffic man nun, panagbinga, traffic man nun. Hmm, siguro narinig tayo ng Diyos, di ba? O ngayon, wala nang panagbinga, wala pang traffic. Hmm. <laughs> And I think, even yung Holy Week, I think I posted this on one of my friends, uh, Uh, nag-post yung friends ko, nag-comment ako. I think last uh, Holy Week was the best Holy Week. No? Kasi tahimik and walang masyadong kaguluhan. No? Walang masyadong maiingay na turista. It was a very solemn Holy Week. I don't know if you had the same experience as mine. Pero ang pansi ko, it was a very, very peaceful Holy Week. No? So, there. Yeah, very important. Yeah. So, try to, uh, kung wala man, I think you can just catch her on YouTube. Uh, meron siyang mga interviews. In-interview ni siya ni Karen Davila. Uh, her name is Anita Morjani. Uh, again, I'll just send the photos to Ma'am Jovely. So don't worry. 
if you want to listen and want to read more, I'm looking for my book, but it's somewhere there. I cannot find it. I'll just uh, uh, have it there. So, yeah. Okay. Marami naman pong advance nangyari nga. Luminis. Tama, luminis. Sabi ni my environment natin. Sabi ni Elvira, this uh, fear doubt are so influential sa atin. Tama. Uh, it really influences us a lot of times. Kaya nga, very important yung uh, seminar na to as was requested by Ma'am Jovelin. Kasi lagi na kayo, in a way, frontliners din kayo, you see, not really the victims per se of COVID, but yung mga affected na people. And you really need that uh, strong feeling. Kaya nga, because I want also to be interactive, no? I want to uh, later have the open forum no? with the permissions of Ma'am Jovelin. So, duality. Kanina, weak soul. Pag weak soul ka, Dandanag ka, you always fearful, you're doubtful. Right now, characteristics. What are characteristics of a powerful soul? Ano naman ang powerful soul? First, ang a soul who is powerful is soul conscious. No? Very soul conscious siya. Duality yun. Body conscious, uh, nyati make up mo, nyati bado, nyati kanum. That's body conscious. Soul conscious is how you feed your soul. And I think that's what we forgot. Yung tayo. No? We, do, we forgot the, the more basic thing, uh, which is ourselves, health, no? dealing with our families, trying to become more simpler in our, in our life. Diba? So that's very important. Uh, pag soul conscious ka, no? I, I see Leonor. Uh, my student, Leonor Balolang, is here. So, there. Uh, all of us will die. Uh, medyo nakakatakot isipin. But again, that's a reality. And how do we, how do we really um, prepare for that? Is actually being more soul conscious. When we say soul conscious, it means we tend to become one, uh, one of the things that we have to remember is we prepare for that time that we have to leave our bodies. No? But while we're still in this body, we make the most out of it. Kaya nga, siguro, napansin nyo kanina si Ma'am uh, Froy at si Ma'am Debbie, or De G, kanina, si Ma'am G, sabi hindi, na, hindi napapagod, hindi sila napapagod sa ginawa nila. They were not tired. No? Bakit kaya ganun? Why? Because they were soul conscious. I think they were they were trying their very best to become uh, very soul conscious. No, when they see the the, the events, the mga conditions, living conditions, ng mga tao na katalamuhan nila, they did not say anyamatan ko biyot na anyamatan no. But they said, I became more grateful. Para nagpasalamat ako that I become mas mas lucky pa ako, which is a very good decision. And listening to them really. Maganda. It's a good start off for this particular talk, no? Another is characteristic of a good soul is a person who is going to be a person who is totally, totally surrendered to the drop of life. Yan. Kasi I think a total surrender. No? Ano na nangyayari sa buhay? Surrender. No? Sabi dito, if you read the slide, I am in control but I am deeply loved by the one who is. It's a very beautiful uh, line. Kaya nga, alam mo mangyari, ay, you have in the, in the solace of your heart that you're very, very much okay. No? Uh, I don't know if you have relatives na, na, na affect na ng COVID or some of your friends maybe or whatever. But I think if there's one thing that we have to remember is no matter how much we control everything, no social distancing, ECQs, at the end of everything, the one who's in control is the one up there. No? Kaya makikita mo, may mga studies na they will say this will peak by September or Ju July or August. Yung cases will peak. Some will say this will end in uh, January. That's the reason why they're also saying na December na ang, ang suspension ng kasang December na. 
So, marami mga ganyang mga bagay-bagay. And let's just see. And let's be amused by how things go. Ako natatawa nga ako kasi sabi ko, I really love staying home. Really. Mas gusto kong nasa bahay ako. Kaya nga, sabi ko, I did, did God listen to my to my prayer? Kasi talagang, as much as possible, kung wala akong talk or wala akong pupuntahan, mas gusto kong nasa bahay ako. And I think, uh, to share everything as it is, no? I think we have to learn the new normal. Ma'am Jovelyn said, the new normal. Ito medyo cold lang kasi I don't know if you're reacting to me. I'm just I'm just going through uh, my my tablet. If you're still there, no? I can see Sir Warren, Ma'am Christina. Uh, uh, Rachel is here, my student, etc. I see you smiling. I see you like, deep in thought. No? Kung isipin natin, uh, for all we know, baka ito na magiging mode natin na we will just be having to talk. We have to talk. Ganito na lang through the internet. But let's see. Let's see. No? So, uh, that's how it is. No? Oo, masa pag-stay sa bahay. Lalo na pag marag kang pagkain. Yan, sabi ni Rachel. Okay, and the third, if you go back to your screens, is a person who's a powerful soul is he's accurate in his vision of himself, of others, and the world. No? Yung word na abracadabra is Armen, Ar, Armeic. Ano yung, Ar, ano yung Armeic? Armeic is uh, this word, no? This one. Armeic is... Uh, 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 Armenia, people from Armenia, sila Kim Kardashian, half Armenian sila. It's a word which means I will create as I speak. That's abracadabra. I will create as I will speak. So, kung, kung tatanan niyo yung Aladdin, abracadabra, tapos mag-open yung, yung, yung cave, di ba? So, at that point, if you talk about that, very very interesting no because when we are able to say abracadabra i will create as i speak that's also true to what what what's happening no if we're going to say allah baka kasuti bang yari allah baka si for all we know we're creating that as the experience kaya pag kunyari may nagpo sa facebook na may extend ng ecq mga ganyan ganyan no try to think about it have that thought, that vision na, okay, kung ma-extend man ng ECQ, it's for the good of everyone. Or kung ma- malilift ng ECQ, you have that vision na, ala, baka umakyat ang mga cases ng COVID. Oh, no, 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 no. Try to think positively. That when ECQ is lifted, everything will still be okay. Everything will still be fine. Yan. So when you say, I create as I speak, be careful of what you say. Be careful of what you think. Because, can manifest. Anya it can manifest. Mabalin nga, uh, what do you say that? Yung, uh, ag, yung agpakit eh, agbalin. No? Nya ti ibagang kot, agbalin. So you have to be very careful with what you're saying. So kung nga mga kastuti yung mangyari, ah, oh, careful ka. Kasi, agbalin. No? Um, I just give a story. Ah. Um, I was on, way, on my way to a certain place. Tapos sa airplane, they serve ice cream. Sa itong ice cream nila. Tapos for a time, sabi ko, sana, may mag, when I landed already, etc. Sabi ko, sana after staying there for a long time, sabi ko, sana may magbigay ng ice cream. Inisip ko lang ha, sana may bigay ng ice cream. Wala pa siguro ng five minutes, there was this one person, oh, demali ka, ice cream tayo. Again. He caught my thought. He caught my thought. And there it is. No? Another. Uh, sana makita ko si ganito. Kung din siya na nakikita. Wala pang five minutes, hindi na siya. So, I mean, thoughts, when you train your mind, no, 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 it train mo, panunot mo, it can give you what you think about. You want perfect health? Think that your body is very okay. Okay, lalabas ka. If you have fear, ala, baka mahawa ko ba? Oh, your thoughts are powerful. Abracadabra, I will create as I speak. Mahawa ang ka. But if you create power, I will go out, but I will not. I will be safe. 
I'll be protected. I will come home and I will not bring home the virus. I am well. All is well. When that's the thing, then you become more powerful. Okay? Then, uh, let's go to the next slide. How do I go to the next slide? Okay. There's the power in the tongue. Tama. Diba? Well, at paisa dita, at the dita tao nga, uh, na pigsangit si kwada, si walo na, na matin nagkakuma. Ay, um, kwakuma, ma, maikat kakong taposisyon mo, mga ganyan. Some of them are very, very powerful in their prayers that at one point, ang nangyayari, they will have the ability to to really um, manifest no yung mangyayari talaga no yung iwalwalo da no the fourth is silence no? a powerful soul taps into silence i think that's the very important thing to do no maturo na rabiin try to think positive thoughts try to envision every person in your loved ones mga frontliners imagine them in pure white light that they're very very much um, protected no they're very very much um, safe no and that's very important no and if you talk about that no um, being in silence no it's something that very powerful no my Right now, I don't know if you've noticed that huh? everything is on a on a pause. Rumorka, one unita o one traffic, it's on a pause. I think God is telling us, okay, you have to think about it. Be silent. Too much na kayo sa ginagawa ng mundo. Pause. No? I think that's the beauty of the ECQ. It's a time for us to pause and to be quiet. Pero sabi siya, quiet nga. Some of you will say that. No? But uh, try to count your blessings. This is the time for it to become silent. What you can do is when you sleep at night, like five minutes, quiet lang. Just enjoy the quiet. You don't have to think what I told you no more. White light, white light. No, just be quiet. Listen how silence will heal you. No? Then in the morning, the first thought when you wake up, thank God that you're alive. Thank God that you're healthy. Thank God that you're being used as an instrument you know, for His mission. In silence. And that's it. Huh? Then you also have this one. You know, a person who is going to be... You know, thumbs up ba nakikita nyo? Do you see it? This one. Okay, I just move it closer. Yeah. Kita? Okay. Yeah. So a person who uh, is also powerful does not take any sorrow from others or give sorrow to others. Um, right now, when you watch the news, because you hear people na namatay, na it didn't ma ma maalis that we feel bad, no? Yung we feel uh, om shanti, huh? we om shanti doon, ah, no? That we feel bad about it, no? We feel sad about it, but don't take too much sorrow, no? When you take sorrow too much, what happens? Affected ka, nag-worry ka, what, ha what if it happens to me? Kasi nag-uubing pa dyan, anak ko, etc., etc. And you, yung, you create so many thoughts, no? Ang dami mo nang iniisip, advance mag-isip, ganyan. What is important is you learn to listen to the news. Makita mo yung namatay, makita mo yung mga ganon. What you have to do is to send blessings. What is it, send blessings? You have to think in your mind, their mission is finished, done, it's time for them to rest, and you send blessings. Those cases right now na tumataas, 6,000 na sa Philippines. Yeah, those are the statistics. But try to really look into deeper. No? Don't take too so much sorrow. Wala nagaduti cases yun, no? Try to look into the ones. Right now, mas marami nang nagre-recover kaysa sa namamatay. No? Which is a good thing. Dati, nung nakita ko, mas, sa Philippines, mas marami namamatay 
isa sa nag-recover. But right now, tumadami na. And that's the blessing. No? And don't give sorrow to others. No? Uh, makikita mo yung post ng friend mo sa Facebook. Matay mo yun. Nadati relief dan. Apay mo katsama. Tapos post ko sa Facebook. Ang yayaman ninyo. Sige pa may relief. Ganyan, ganyan. Uh, as much as possible, we don't need that as of the moment. No? Try your very best to count your blessings. No? Uh, it's very important to be grateful kung anong meron. No? That's very important. And I think I've shown this to you many times over. Nung I don't know if I gave a talk to you. And sometimes, first, ganyan tayo. Very strong. No? Sila ma'am ma uh, Freud, sila ma'am J. Very kwan sila sa kanilang ginagawa. It can happen. It can happen that after so many days of doing that, tos parang na alam na sila and they turn into like this. Maganito. No? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. But the purpose of this talk, the purpose of this is to maintain you being like this. And I give you a secret how to do that. No? How to do that is you have to think that God is using your hands, your feet, your body to reach out to his children, to reach out to people. Because God cannot come down. Hindi siya pwede makababa dito para tumulong. He uses people like you and me to help. Ito nga nung sinabi sa akin ni Ma'am Jones that I, I will be part of the uh, their, their talk about this. I got excited because as I told you, two months akong parang walang walang activity no gumagaling na ako magluto no ayan open ang make uh, open na ang webcam ni Ma'am Gemma Lomboy hello Ma'am Gemma ayan two months na i think i mean those things and when I was trying to think about it sabi ko ano kaya mangyayari uh, after the ECQ i don't think that there will be talks who will there are people who will be inviting me for talk etc and lo and behold, no, I said, I just prayed to God. Sabi ko, uh, I'm just here if you need me, etc. Then here comes this invitation. In fact, I have three invitations again for, for talks this coming, uh, tomorrow and next week. So I think this is still good. I mean, this is still good because I think at the end of the day, this is the new normal. We maintain ourselves to be this way. No? Kaya, at this point, let me wind down my talk. No? Uh, because it's only one hour ang bigay sa akin is realize the things that it can change no? a powerful soul is a soul who can recognize what he can change what you can change no? and um, right now feeling natin we are powerless we can't change anything that's why I like this prayer Yung serenity prayer. I don't know if you, you're familiar with that, uh, um, everyone. No? So if you talk about your serenity prayer, wait, let me nag message. Yeah. I think it says there God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. No? Very important, yon. No? Uh, said Ma'am Froy, he went, can I change their their environment? Can I change their setup? Hindi eh. You're just there to make them qualify or something. What she, what, I don't know what she was doing there. But can she change that? Maybe by doing being there, may konting change sa buhay nila. Uh, can you accept the things the way as, as it is? No? Ito pinakamahirap, yung you accept the things that you can change. Yung nakita ko yung first COVID case, uh, death, no? fatality. And the girl was saying that her mom died, wala sa bed, uh, and all those those uh, things that she was even cremated. Pati yung kay, kay Juan, kay, yes, Elvira, it's a very nice prayer indeed. Um, pati yung si Roby Rodriguez, if you watch Kapuso Mo, I mean, 
yung hindi man lang niya daw nayakap, yung nakasama, hindi niya nabisita yung kanyang kapatid. And when she came back, abo na siya. I mean, uh, you can't change things the way as it happened, but that's the way it is. No? Kaya nga, right now, what can we change? We can change ourselves. We can change the way we, uh, we, we change the way our lifestyle. No? So right now, back to basics talaga tayo. Oh, lahat tayo back to basics. Kasi hinala ko yung mga taong naka-off ang kanilang mic, ang kanilang camera, hindi pa naliligo. Back to basics din yan. Yan. Hindi masyado naliligo. Hindi nagtutut bra. Kasi social distancing naman, di ba? Wala naman nakakaamoy sa'yo, di ba? So, but joking aside, joking aside, I think that's the basic thing. We change our life. Ang nakakalungkot after this ECQ, and we go back to our usual selves, bali wala. We have to learn to change. No? Eat more fruits, exercise. Uh, and the moment we get to have ability, ability already to really hug and uh, embrace people, we do it. No? Kasi yan talang nagbago. Right? Yeah, very true po. I don't want wasting my energy on this. I cannot change. Tama. Di ba? So, wala kang gagawin, di ba? So, kunyari, that thing happened, then it's useless energy already. Okay? So, at this point, let me end my talk by what Gandhi said, no? Be the change you want to see in the world. No? And I think if you try to uh, think about this, how to build your inner resilience is one, guard your thoughts. No? Uh, worry, doubt, and fear. Though it's part of our system, try to think about it. No, if something happens, you can do something about it. No, if you're worried about something, is it something that you have to be worried about it? Is it a matter of life and death? Think about it. And how to become powerful? No, you should tap into silence. You should be more soul conscious. Don't cause any sorrow to other people. No? Be careful of what you say. No? No? You're abracadabra. No? Be careful of what you say because your thoughts and your words manifest. Right? So, all of us, I don't know how many are here in this uh, talk. No? Uh, let me just shout out to everyone. Uh, Maria Balao, Mam um, Jobs, Mam um, Sapi. Ma'am Lomboy, nag-make up pa si Ma'am Lomboy, ha? Um, Ma'am Bandong, Ma'am Matches, Ma'am Brenda, Ma'am Francine, Ma'am Froy, God bless you, Ma'am Froy, uh, Polido, Ma'am Polido, Sir Warren, si Ma'am Annie, na liligo pa siguro siya, of ang kanyang kwan, uh, Sir HP, hindi ko kasi si Sir HP, no? Sir HP, uh, Sir Lauren, Sir Mam Rachel, Mam Rachel Samonte, uh, Mam Sabit, Mam Leonor, Mam Gladys, Mam Aida, uh, Mam La Peña, Mam Deza. Oh, Deza, hi Deza, kapit bahay ko to. Masakit maka? Mam STF. Oh, naka-post pa si Ma'am STF. O, oh, di ba, bongga. O, oh, di ba? Yan. Uh, Ma'am Fernandez. Oh, nag-off agad si Ma'am Sarol. Ma'am Ma Marjorie. Ma'am Adelaida. Ma'am Winnie. Ma'am Ilon. Ma'am Galaxy. Uh, Sir Frankie. Ito ang number, hindi ko alam. 9365760503. Sir Ryan. Sir Dwight. Sir G. Ma'am G, God bless you. Ma'am G. Ma'am G. God bless you. Ma'am Bridget, Ma'am Winifred, uh, ang dami pala natin, no? Ma'am Asuncion, Ma'am Apo, Christina, Ma'am Estrella, Ma'am Christine, Ma'am Feli, Ma'am Drusilla, Ma'am Marilyn, Ma'am Julie, Ma'am Evelyn, Ma'am Jobs, I just like to acknowledge them for staying with us. Uh, Marites, Junita, Ma'am, ito, 9635503, uh, siya yun. This one. Okay? 
Mam Sylvia, Mam Kathy, Mam Esther, Mam Elvira, Mam Bigaya, Mam Elmer, uh, sorry, Elmer, sorry, Lynn, Mam Crescentia, Mam Rina Lynn Padsoyan, I think she left. I know she's still here. Uh, Mam Priscilla, Mam Marif Pablo, Jackson, Sosimo, Jennifer, Godfrey, Esti, Esnar, San Rio, San Vicente, Sandy, Mary, Chingay, Florida, number ulit, Sir Harry, Juliet, Kirin, uh, Kinyo, Junji, ang dami pala, Galaxy, uh, Irene, Rhea, Jovili, etc. Eh, many others, ang dami pala, no? Uh, Bernice, Jovel, Evie, Antonio, Clifford, Wilma, ang dami pala, I didn't notice that you were all here. Okay, so, there. Uh, Thank you very very much. I, I think if Mom Jobs is still there, uh, if we can entertain a few questions. Yes, sir. Mom Jobs. Yes, sir. Please. Are you there? Are you parang yes, sir. spirit of yes, sir. Man, Are you there? Yes, I'm here, yeah. sir. Is there any questions? No, man. Yes. Okay, sir. So, sir, 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 sir Harris, can you please unmute so that we entertain questions? Okay po, raise hand lang po yung mga gustong mag-question para i-unmute natin. Huwag magtanong ha. Huwag mahihiyang magtanong. Uh, thank you din po. Uh, thank you, Ma'am Rizaline. For the very end. Kung nangyang magsalita, you can just type in. Oh, thank you, Ma'am Brenda. Okay. Uh, Sir Harris, am I in? Yes, Ma'am. You're yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma ah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, we 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 can entertain questions for our speaker to answer. Kung meron kayong gusto itanong or anything you would like to clarify. Although the talk was very, very clear, it enlightened us so much about how to build inner resilience. But if there are still unclear to us or anything you'd like to ask, we will open for the open forum. Po. So anybody yes. who could uh, raise the questions? Or kahit realization, kung walang question, kahit realization. Oh, kahit realization, yes, yes. Insights, uh, sharing with your insights about the talk. If there are, although nakikita natin sa screen, may mga nag nakalagay na. Mm. Meron? I don't know how to go back to the previous uh, chat. Uh, chat one thing. I I I'm, I'm in the chat. I don't know if you have questions. Yes. Uh, most of those posted, naman are realizations, uh, gra message of gratitude. I, I did. Uh, I did know that our make was one of the spoken language by Jesus. Hindi ko alam yun na. Sabi ni Sir Ryan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. I'm just going over if ever there, um, ma'am jokes, you just speak. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, so. yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, neighbor. Sabi ni Jesus, Jesus, po your neighbor, kit marin po ako. Ayan si ma'am. Ma yeah, meron din ang, uh, the the society needs as teachers today to instrument in spreading positive thoughts. So, oh, oh. ang daming mga realizations that are uh, posted on chat, sir, from the talk, and uh, it's nice yeah, that we're able to bring out bring out all of this. Hmm. Yes, and I think one then. Thank you for for tapping me, Ma'am Jobs. Yes, yes, Again, yes. ito na naman yung bagong... As usual, as usual. As usual. <laughs> as usual yeah. or, uh, sir, them had been our partners ito, sa, ito. Ano, sa inclusive education conferences. Uh, yeah. any, anything about special education, sir, is uh, the right, the best person to talk about it. Being uh, a psychologist. May promo pa talaga. Yes. <laughs> may promo talaga. Okay, sir. Oh, so, yeah. Ma'am Elon, meron yata. Ay, meron? Sino, sir? Ma'am uh... Ma Elon? Elon? Uh, Ma'am Elon? Ma'am Elon? Ay, okay. yes, sir. Yes, Hi. 
Hello po. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi, sir. Hi, ma'am. Nasa Hello. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Okay. Sige, yeah. ano ang... Morning. Ay, yakan sa Hi, ma'am. Uh, what's your question or realization I'd like to share? <laughs> I, um... Go ahead po. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, nalipatak, ma'am. Later or alit, ma'am. Later. <laughs> nalipatak. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Kumusta Thank you so kayo? much. Where are you? Later. Yes. I'll ask later. Okay, ano po yun? Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka dyan? Na nasa field pa lang po kami. Sa volunteer? Ay, okay. Ito po, oh. Ah, we are still working. Hello, everyone. Hi, sir. Oh, hi. Nasa kasama ko po si Ma'am Rosalyn La Peña. Sir, student mm. po sa UB. Mm. Student mo po daw dati sa UB. Ah. Ay, patingin. Tsaka si Ma'am Noemi. Nandiyan daw ako. Asan ba? Uh, patingin daw. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan. Hi. Sa po sila sa UB. Pindutin na yung anong na yun. Yung para may... Ayan, ayan. Hi. Hi, sir. Ay, talaga, ha? O, take okay. care kayo. Very good. Take care. Yes, sir. Take care kayo dyan. Okay lang po. Sige. Yeah. Nakikinig po kami sa lahat. Oo naman. Okay. Mm-hmm. Salamat. Dami po lang fans, sir, din. Kuda? Pindot ko kasi yung kamay na nakagano. Ano ba yun? <laughs> O, oh, kung napipidot natin dito. <laughs> Nag-explore po ako. Salamat. Yes. Um, okay. Ma'am, okay. Ma'am Francine? Yes po. Okay, go ahead Ma'am Francine. Opo, ako po, I want to share my realization po. Uh, I work as a volunteer po as an encoder mm-hmm. for 10 days straight po. So, starting nung Good Friday. So, nung narinig ko din na may volunteer work for teachers, I was actually looking forward na magtawag sila from the deaf ed sector. Tapos, pinili ko po maging encoder kasi matanda na yung tatay ko, tapos I have a child. Siyempre, yung safety din nila if I go home. So, at least dun sa encoder, I won't go house to house. Siyempre, pasabi nga ni sir, we also have to choose para siyempre, yung soul din natin, we are at peace kung mag-volunteer man tayo, syempre may iba pa rin affected. So, dun ko po na-realize na yung role ng education sector is very important. Lalo na nun while we were encoding the SAC forms na hindi kasi pwedeng manatili na lang silang ganun. Yung po talaga yung na-realize ko na bakit ganito sila? Tapos parang it's, it's becoming a domino effect parang from the parent to the children, and it is not stopping. Kaya nga, mm. our role in the education, nung sabi ko nga eh, when we were talking with Sir Jimmy, sabi ko nga, uh, aside from, di ba, sa my school, my home na program natin na sa DepEd, we could actually incorporate kung ano naman ang gagawin natin in times of pandemics. Kasi parang, meron na tayong programs for pagka may bagyo, pagka na lindol tayo. Parang we are ready for those things kasi it was happening sa previous mm-hmm. years. Tapos ngayon, okay. we have another problem. So we also have to think kung ano na yung mga actions natin. Kaya sabi ko nga, I'm eager na pagbalik ko to have a, parang sa mga estudyante, so what do you, what did you do? What will happen? And what will we give you next? Na para kahit na wala sila sa school, ready sila, kahit bata sila, they can share it to their parents. Yung mga ganun po bang programs. Kaya sabi ko, uh, the education sector is really important. Hindi man tayo yung number one na frontliner dealing with those kinds of uh, yung sickness po ngayon. Pero at least, we can do something para in the future, we are prepared. Tapos yun, very ano yung nagustuhan ko yung sinasabi ni sir na we can do something regardless if it's a yes or a no Oo. ang answer. Yun lang po. Thank you very much. Okay, thank yes. you, ma'am. Thank you. But of course, kung din ha, you take care din, lalo na if pag-uwi mo, yung precaution yes, na rin, po. syempre, yung washing of your hands, mag-shower ka na before you 
mingle with your family para iwas COVID. Yes po. <laughs> Inga, take care ha. Yes po. Kayo rin po ang lahat, take care. Okay, para binalaan tayo, mag-ingat tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am Gladys. Okay, Ma'am Gladys. Ma'am Gladys Chug Saya. Si Ma'am Gemma naka-makeup talaga siya. Hi. Hi. Ma'am Gladys. Yes po. Ayun. <laughs> And dito pa po kami sa uh, ongoing pa po yung duty namin. Tapos uh, mm-hmm. ngayon na naka-duty for now. Okay, so with regards to our experiences, of course, uh, na we actually try going outside also from the barangay house to house. At the same time, uh, working with other, with our partners, yun po na mga frontliners po natin, mga social workers, yung ating mga barangay na doon po si Kap, doon po si Kapitan, yun po ang kalawad po natin. Yan. Yung mga kasama rin po natin na volunteers, nandito rin po sila. Yung isa kalalabas lang, pupunta na naman sila sa uh, ibang kasama natin dito sa mga ito po yung kasama po natin ito ng kayo din po from DepEd. Ayan po. So, nagluto po yung isa. <laughs> Tumatulog po sa pag-i-prepare. <laughs> Ayan po. So, uh, we are thankful for this experience na nakasama po kami dito para makatulong po sa ating mga barangay po dito sa San Luis area. Although may mga experiences po na uh, hindi man po Kumbaga, sa, kahit sa ibang lugar, experience din po nila, mga complaints. But uh, thank God, control pa rin naman po. So, yun po. So, ingat po. Ingat kayo po. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the sharing, uh, Sir Harris. Ako na po. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes. So thank you for the sharing, uh, fellow teachers, and uh, of course, we thank you also to our speaker. So I hope that uh, we have uh, picked uh, the most important thing he mentioned to us about uh, guarding our thoughts. So it's very important that uh, we have to think well. We have not to, not to worry too much. Uh, if we worry, there should be an action after it. It's not just worrying, worrying, and just uh, drain your emotions. Worrying, you may worry, sometimes we fear, but after it, what is our action? So that's the most important uh, thing that we need to do really. As we soon face another challenge when we go back to school, we do not know what's in store for us. Perhaps uh, our deaf ed might uh, as well design an alternative delivery mode that we will do. And again, that's another adjustment that we do. But since with our training today, with our session with Sir Dem today, we are now prepared on how to be resilient, on what to do next, what is our action after. So we hope that we just one hour of sharing with us uh, through our speaker, we are able to as, as, at least start in ourselves by first establishing a good thinking, <laughs> not to worry too much, not to doubt of our uh, our abilities, and we have self-confidence to be uh, to, to face the next challenges that are in store for us. So so with that, Sir Dan, before we have uh, our ASBS to talk, we would like to thank you for the opportunity, sir. We hope that in our next programs, yeah. uh, in our, yes, in our next uh, webinar, webinar, we'll be having you, sir. Have Yes. Yes. Uh, so uh, even me, I was uh, at least there's a touch of spiritual also because yes. while while it's true that we are warned so many times by our government, the most important thing is our trust in God. Uh, perhaps she has a purpose of uh, why this happened, as, as Sir said a while ago. It's just going back to the basic with the, the way she created the world. He created the world. And parang he is trying to bring us back to how the world was 2,000 years ago. So <laughs> where there is no pollution, it's just the green that we see outside. So yun siguro ang isang realization. So 
uh, it's nice that there is uh, an incorporation of our spiritual life dito sa talk ni Sir today. It's not about the theories, it's not about experiences, but most of all, there is uh, uh, the spiritual part of it. So, yun po ang pinakamahalaga dito, Sir, sa talk ni Sir today. So, with that, we'd like to call in our ASDS, who is uh, the lead person in our program today. Uh, Ma'am Sor, nandiyan ka na po ba? Ma'am Sor? Our assist, yes. Our yeah, assist, I'm, I'm yes. Good. Yes, yes. So, uh, fellow teachers and our Sir Dem, we'd like to present to you for his uh, for her uh, closing statement, our beautiful ASDS, Dr. Soraya Facologo. Go ahead, Sir. Ay, Ma'am. Very hopeful talaga si Joby, no? <laughs> yes, yeah. hopeful. Hi. Thank you very much, Al. Uh, Uh, Sir Dem, uh, you really are a very powerful speaker. Yung, yung your calm demeanor, no? it's just like uh, the mountains here. So I am right far, far away from the city right now, but uh, you are heard by by the mountains. No? <laughs> ang galing, ang galing ng, ano, ng sharing mo today. Um, yes, what I have uh, learned most uh, in your sharing, no? uh, it It was more of, it was actually a follow-up of our previous knowledge sharing where we talked about uh, big ideas yeah, and thoughts about the normal and about uh, ano yung isa, the balance of the mental health. So right today, you were able to touch in a, uh, yung, yung more important uh, lesson that we gained, you know, yung how, how the Filipino behavior could be very helpful no, in shaping our own uh, resilient spirit and to become a um, powerful soul as you, as you face it. So um, uh, just those lines alone no, was able, were able to um, give some inspiration today. The last five weeks were uh, really very uh, challenging times for us working from home. Mm-hmm. It's so much different because we don't get the chance to talk like this and uh, to express when we're worrying or when we're angry or when we are, uh, we like to say something to one another. It's basically more on all uh, written or messaging, messaging format. And it's quite uh, stressful also because at times, as you say, the worry may not be actually the, the thing that the other person may, uh, may be uh, Uh, how do you call it, the message from the other end may not be the same as what I am trying to interpret from the message. So all of these feelings that we have you know, in the past five weeks working from home uh, were um, sort of adding to all our stresses. So we saw, I actually saw from myself also, how uh, uh, conflicts happen even in uh, you know, like conversations that we read. And today was something uh, you gave us this moment or the space uh, just to pause. And the yung sabi mo was uh, being hopeful about things, you know, being hopeful about things. And uh, your affirmation that this might be what we will be looking forward to when we when 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 the quarantine is over. Uh, the lesson, the big lesson that you have shared today, is truly something that's inspiring to us all. And uh, we are very thankful for that. Um, to the teachers That's who are mine. here, the teachers who are here, um, it's also very touching no, to listen to your voice. At the background, we were just writing some, uh, you know, like messages of support, like making infographics to support you on your uh, on the role that you took for this 10-day uh, journey of doing the SAP. Your volunteer work and uh, hearing your voice today uh, keeps us, you know, hopeful that uh, you're alive and that you were able to get through the first 10 days, which may be very harrowing. And uh, for us in the division, if that is the division office, we are uh, very thankful no, to all the work that you're doing. There were times that it was so rough, but. Um, At least, nung na, nadaanan yun na yun, you know, the sharing of uh, our that the teachers that we have, although I was not able to listen to them early on for the stories, um, I read some of the sharing reflections that you shared uh, to our uh, 
focal person. And this was really something that inspired all of us. So please keep doing the work. Uh, we are very proud of you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sir Dan. You're welcome. Paul. My pleasure. And God bless you all and take care. Okay, yes. Okay, sir. So once again, in behalf of SBO Baguio, the SGOD, through the Human Resource Development Section, we would like to thank you, express our gratitude for the time given. And of course, our teachers also for participating in today's knowledge sharing series. Actually, sir, this is a series. So there yeah. is the six, seven, eight. We will know that. Don't know where it ends, but it's a series of learning activities, sir, in yeah. time of the, the ECQ. So with yeah. that, uh, we'd like to pause now for, uh, for, for, and for now, temporarily, because we'll soon be seeing each other again. So, yeah. sir, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. God bless you all. Thank and thank you for having me, Ma'am Jobs yes, and Ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, okay. sir.